Hello there, I'm painting a Christmassy scene today. This is my wee sketch and these are all the colours I'll be using. Yellow ochre, Mars black, ultramarine, orange, cadmium yellow, titanium white, burnt sienna and emerald green. Okay, to start off I've got my soft flat brush and I'm mixing up a muted yellow colour. Laying the paint on nice and thick and at the moment I'm really only blocking in some basic shapes. I want a slightly darker shade now so I'm just adding a little more black to that mix. So I'll continue to paint with just these two shades of muted yellow. I think I'll lighten this area now with yellow ochre. This part of the painting is going to be the corner shop. And there's the basic shapes for the houses done. I'm just doing a rough underpainting for the snow shadow now. I've added a little white to the muted yellow for this and I'll tidy it up later on. There, I think that will do for now. For the shop front sign I'm mixing up a dark blue. Uh, that's ultramarine and a little black. It's a wintry evening just before Christmas so most of the colours will naturally be dark and muted. Yellow ochre for the shop window. And let's put in some windows too. For the two doors along the left side here I'm using ultramarine and some white. There's going to be some lump light shining down on this door so I want the blue to be nice and vibrant. Tapping in some orange light for along the bottom of the windows. Moving on to cadmium yellow for around the top of the windows.
With St. Burns Sienna, I'm painting in impressions of objects that are maybe set close to the other side of the window. These could be anything like toys, Christmas presents, things like that. For a bit of variation, I thought I'd paint some of the window frames black, some in white and some light grey. It's not in the sketch, but I've decided to put an impression of a Christmas tree into this window. I just thought it would make the scene a bit more Christmassy. Again, for variation, I'm painting the windowsills different shades of grey. I really like the style of these old lampposts. They're kind of old fashioned and I think they add a touch more of nostalgia to the scene. I'm just doing these simply in black. I'm going to be doing the lamp lighting stages and the first one is a mix of yellow ochre and a tiny bit of black. And the second stage is yellow ochre, just on its own. Okay, while that's drying, I think I'll make a start on the foreground snow. This is the mix I'm using for the snow shadow. Uh, it's just the muted yellow again and white. There, that's plenty of snow. Back to the next stage of the lamplight and I'm tapping in some cadmium yellow.
So I've got my fine liner brush and I'm going to paint in the lamp bulbs next uh, using cadmium yellow and white. For the final touch, just a tiny dot of white. For the lamp light shining on the snow, I'm using yellow ochre and white mix. For the corner shop lettering, I've used a mix of yellow ochre and a little black. I think this makes it look uh, nice and worn looking. White and a little yellow ochre for the snow that's settled on the windowsills. A little old man and his wee dog are going to the corner shop for a newspaper. So for the little old man's coat I've used a mix of ultramarine and a tiny bit of black. For his head and hands I've mixed up a flesh colour using white and a tiny bit of burnt sienna. And for his trousers burnt sienna mixed with a little black. painting in his little dog now and I want him to look like he's excited to be out for a walk. The both of them only live a couple of streets away and they come here nearly every day so his little dog knows exactly where he's going. And just as they get to the shop it's beginning to snow again. Well, I think this painting is just about finished. I hope you've enjoyed it and I've given you some ideas for your own paintings. Until the next time, thanks for watching and happy painting.